and another three for Detroit. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now here's Ross. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. Now Young. He feeds it to Prez. Young passes the ball. Three-pointer down by Prez. You know Young was looking to send it his way. And the chemistry between Orange Juice to make that play happen is just exceptional. Vucevic dishes to Fournier. Back to Vucevic. It's good, and he drew contact good. on the shot, so good. he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. And Nikola Vucevic, a skilled seven-footer who just attacks the glass. A nightly double-double machine, but, but still figuring out how to really become a dominant force on the inside. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Young. Here's our 2K leaderboard with the list of the teams that have been on fire from beyond the arc over the past month. The Pistons, number one. Well, look at it. Over the past month, they've shown good discipline out there on the perimeter. By and large, taking only the shots that they think they really can knock down. And thinking about Vucevic, he's a guy that just tantalizes with his scoring, his size. And you hear some comments and concerns that he's not the impact defender that you would have to have inside. Yeah, not, not the quickest feet or the fastest off the ground, but he does stay out of foul trouble. And for him to really move the needle, though, you'd like for him to watch tape of a guy like Tim Duncan and improve as a rim protector. Caldwell Pope, who's checked in for Lure. The Magic have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts right around 78%. Now, here is Young. He hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure will change. There's a screen by Marjanovic. That's good from Prez on the assist by Caldwell Pope. And that's now 20 points for Prez. Payton outside. Outside Gordon. Ross with a wide open look. Another miss by Orlando. Nah, he's really had a rough quarter on the offensive side of the floor. Young in the corner. And there's the feed to Prez. On deep. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And Orlando will come the other way. And they've come out with a take no prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. A wide open look here for Vucevic. The rebound by Young. The defense got super lucky there because he does not miss many of those. Prez with the bucket. How about the last five main shots have all been free? The defense is just giving up a barrage. Payton kicks to Fournier. High post Vucevic uncovered. Another miss by Vucevic. Pistons leading by 14. Here's Young. The shot misses. Good D by Peyton. Orlando's gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. Orlando moving the ball around. Ross kicks to Vucevic. Fournier gets a wide open look. And the three ball is good. Fournier's got his first three points of the game. And they've had a tough time scoring in the half court. Credit the defense for making it hard on them. They've done a great job of disrupting the timing and spacing of their offense. Defensively. Nice job, Orange Juice. Hustle up. Take a seat. <laughs> I like what I see out there, fellas. We're playing like we want it more than them. Just keep squeezing that orange juice, gentlemen. Once told me uh, not to kind of look back and compare uh, or, or to wonder about what could have been. And, and, and I, I don't know. Uh, I, I do like the fact that 
um, when I had that skill set, it was appreciated by my coach, teammates, and some fans. But for most people back then, uh, they would say, uh, you're trying to do too much or it doesn't mean anything to have five assists a game or to get guys involved. And, uh, you know, for me, I just thought that uh, the more you can do, the better you are at all skill sets, uh, the more you uh, kind of uh, make yourself valuable to your team, the more you should be on the court, and, and it validates that. So for me, I just took all my favorite players, and, and I stole from them. I wanted to be like them, and uh, I, I thank the generations that came before me uh, that allowed me to see what the game should look like, and then, you know, add my own little style and flair to it, <laughs> do my own thing. Good point. Yes, Detroit leading by nine. Here's Ball. Caldwell Pope trying to break free, and he drops it in. Just a pretty release there from Ball. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Two on none. No one back to stop this. Basket good. And the Pistons lead by 14. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Now, when you watch this Detroit team play, you can't help but think about perhaps one of the most legendary teams ever to play in the NBA, the Bad Boys Pistons. The amazing team that would deliver back-to-back -back titles to my city of Detroit. One of the toughest teams ever in any sport. Fires it up, and the Pistons getting another bucket right there. So he has been an absolute tear of this court. The Magic trail by 16. Out to the wing. Meeks inside the three-point line. Once again, off the mark, Orlando. The Pistons shooting an outstanding 61% in the early going. Three-pointer, a shot, no good. The Magic go the other way with it, and that one's good, Marjanovic. Yeah, second chance points, a huge issue right now. They're getting steamrolled inside. Green kicks to Gordon. Inside, Meeks, no good again that time. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Prez, no good. Orlando's going to meager one of six from three-point land since we got started tonight. Down low. Harris against Green. Passes to Augustine. Meeks outside. The rebound by Young. Young's got his third rebound tonight. Feeds to Prez. From deep. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Prez has got 31 points. With every shot he makes, the defense only gets more and more flustered. What a showing by him. Here's Gordon. He kicks to Augustine. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Augustine's got his first bucket of the night. And, guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. His team is up, and he still is having a phenomenal quarter from the field. Look out. They've been looking. to sink offensively and they need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence inside Biombo, and it's Biombo with the jam you know more and more we're seeing some shorter guys play the center position especially when they have vertical loops like that to make up. but put that he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points Morjanovic has got six and on the glass so far it hadn't even been close Outside, Green. Gordon, a screen. 41 seconds left to play here in the first. That's the shot you see him make all the time at warm -ups. He just messed up the release there. Here's Ball. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Gordon, the pass to Green. Augustine dishes to Biombo. Rebound by Young. Young's got his fourth rebound in this one. 
No one near Prez as he lets it go. Prez has got 37. And here's Augustine. He just could not put it together in that loss to Philadelphia. Here's Meeks. Off the left rim and out. Ball. That shot, no good. And that's it for the first quarter in what's been a very lopsided game. The Pistons on top, running away with it. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Yes, ankle breaker, be quiet. There's no shot here to say. Here's Prez now on the recent trade chatter surrounding his teammate, Justice Young. I'm tired of talking about it, to be honest. I mean, it's tough feeling like you're building something great, but it may not last. So this time of year always seems to bring around some drama. But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping that all the headlines and speculation will die down soon and we can just get back to focusing on basketball. Greg, how hard is it to keep your focus when rumors like this are floating around? I think young players have an especially hard time dealing with trade rooms. Uh, it, it takes time to learn how to be a pro in the NBA and, and to tune out the noise and play your best no matter what the circumstance may be. As players like Prez and Justice Young get older, they'll be more comfortable dealing with those types of rumors, but early on, it's a factor. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. And a comfortable margin for the Pistons here, guys. It's all about their defense. They have just done a terrific job of negating the timing and spacing of their opponent. Oh, yeah, great communication. The guys are quick and rotating help and, and playing with a lot of energy. On the court for Orlando, Alfred Payton is out there with Jody Meeks. Then it's Terrence Ross. Then there's Green, and it's Vucevic in at the center position. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Prez in their last game against the Hawks got the job done. He had an incredible number of points, and that scoring outburst set a new season high for him in what became a great exhibition on his part. He racked up big numbers in what was a really good performance. Can he carry it over tonight? We'll see, Kevin. Thanks for the report, David. You had to a different look here for the Pistons. Marjanovic checked in for John Luer. Prez comes in for Johnson. They know Udrich. He's checked in for Caldwell Pope. Young is subbed in for Smith. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Biambo, he's checked in for Vucevic. Aaron Gordon comes in for Green. Fournier is checked in for Ross. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Peyton. Hey, way to put the squeeze on him, guys. Bring it in. Let's talk. Hey, we're in great shape, fellas. Now, no matter how much we go up, we need to keep that same... Magic young tandem of first-round picks in 2014, Alfred Payton and Aaron Gordon. They've come a long way together. You know, they were teammates on the Team USA under-19 squad that went 9-0 and won gold back in 13. And that was a great draft for the Magic, getting two high-character, high-effort, defensive-minded players with elite athleticism. And Augustine kicks to Fournier. To the middle. Biambo. That's good. Biambo's got six points. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. And Tyler should be on the top two. From ball. Man, we really can't fault the D there. No doubt the D is better on two. Better offense. Now, here's Fournier. He's coming off a 22-point game against the 76ers in Philadelphia. Frez with the ball. From deep three-point range. Morjanovic kicks to Young. From deep, it falls. And three more from ball. Frez has got 45 points. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Of their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Tipped away. Young with the steal. And Green. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. 
Green. Oh! Personal foul, team's third. 